Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Month Podcast, your source for all things money. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Jesse DeLillo on the line, and he's a real estate investor and founder over at JSJ Sustainable Investments. Jesse, welcome to the show. Thanks, Adam. Thanks for having me. I'm glad to be on. Oh, man. So I'm excited to get into today's topic. So we're going to talk about your strategic investment program that you that you just um, are, are offering and making available to the public. Um, before we get into that, though, I want to talk a little bit more about what you're doing and what your background as a real estate investor. Um, tell us a little bit more about how you got started in the business, please. So we got started in real estate investing about 13 years ago. Um, started on a, on a hockey trip. Uh, I was up too late watching infomercials. Uh, I was about 15 years old, and I got <laughs> looped into this tax uh, tax lien investing, um, just infomercial over and over. Every trip we went on, I you know I'd watch it, and uh, I wasn't old enough to start the LLC myself, so I had I uh, had to convince my parents to start the first company. So that's what we we did. Uh, I pulled all the money that I had together to start buying tax liens, as well as my parents. Uh, we did that for several years and then transitioned into fix and flipping when we moved out to California. Uh, we did fix and flips here in California for a little bit, but uh, the margins are a little tighter and we decided to transition that uh, business over into the Midwest. And now we primarily invest uh, out of the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania market and a couple other around the country. Man, so I love this. I, you're the first. I've interviewed, I think, 2,000, maybe more people now, and you are the first real estate career that I know that was launched from the infomercials. I love it. <laughs> That's a great story. So those that are listening, hey, good things can happen from those late-night infomercials. Uh, we'll throw in some Steve Jobs once you connect the dots going backwards, right? <laughs> That's right. Exactly, exactly. So. So Jesse, I wanna um, I want to transition. Let's get into your strategic investment program. So really exciting time for your company. Um, tell us a little bit more about the program. Absolutely. Um, so this is something that we've just been tossing around for the past couple of years, uh, working with higher net worth individuals. Um, so we came up with a we came up with a strategy. Uh, we our team got together and we decided to launch the strategic investment program, uh, which is for investors with a million dollars plus. Uh, anywhere from one to ten million, we look to partner with those investors. So it's a it's a little bit more um, it's a little bit more investor heavy, you know, on on people that people that really just don't have time, but they have the cash. Uh, we we've been doing it a lot with uh, smaller investors with our um, fix and flip projects now, where we'll have multiple investors come in and fund the deal. Um, it gets a little bit more complicated on the legal end with the paperwork and the payouts on the end when there's three or four people on a deal. So we decided this would be a better strategy to um, just have one lender on the deal or one investor on the deal instead of having multiple parties involved and, you know, people calling you in the middle of the night asking them, you know, for your for the $20,000 worth their money. And, and, you know, it's just when you're working with higher net worth individuals, um, they're used to waiting for their money. They're used to being paid out either annually, semi-annually or quarterly. Um, they're not looking for, you know, it's it's not their last twenty thousand dollars. So that's really why we launched it. Um, we we definitely want to help as many people as we can. Uh, it just makes it a lot cheaper on our end to not have to do multi, you know all, all the extra steps that our legal team um, saves us, you know, a significant amount of money uh, on the front end of the deal as well as on the back end. So we launched this program just to just to really streamline it and make it so that we can purchase more properties. Um, faster and get them closed and turned around quicker. So, what kind of properties or geographies are you, are you looking to focus on with this? Uh, so, in this program, we want to primarily focus on the fix and flip industry uh, in in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. That's our main market right now. Um, I'd, I'd really like to eventually we're, we're transitioning into the commercial space. Uh, that's what we we do with our fix and flip profits now. We stack them up till the end of the year and then we put it into a syndication. But what I want to do eventually is just buy those buildings ourselves and then with our partners in the strategic investment program, you know, they would be a, they would be a significant part of that as well. So we'll start out with the single family as we've been doing and then tr as we transition our company personally, we'll then take along those investors that are working with us. 
That's awesome. And um, what what do you like about Pittsburgh? So for those that haven't um, that aren't that haven't really been looking at Pittsburgh, I've heard some other markets, but um, I haven't heard of Pittsburgh in a little bit. What do you like about Pittsburgh right now? I I really like the job growth there. Uh, so there's mm. there's a couple hundred tech startups there, and then you have the big ones oh, wow. like uh, Google, Facebook, Uber, Duolingo. Um, you also have Carnegie Mellon, which is the uh, you know the big tech college there. They're working on an artificial intelligence program. So uh, Pittsburgh's become kind of the artificial intelligence like tech center, and then there's also the hospital system there, UMTC. They just put two billion dollars into three specialty hospitals, um, and they're the largest employer in all of Pennsylvania. So uh, their headquarters is in Pittsburgh, which makes it ideal for us um, as far as job growth goes. It's it's all tech and medical, so that's really the area that we'd like to invest in. Man, I love doing this podcast, Jesse. I, I learn something new every single day. I heard anybody say anything about Pittsburgh in at least a, I don't know, a year probably, and I'm like, ah, it's back on back on the radar. Hope everybody listening enjoys this podcast also, because I know this became back in a lot of other people's radar just in terms of something to look at. So, um, no, that's awesome. Um, so, Jesse, that being said. Um, I could talk to you about this all day long, but we're about out of time on this episode. That, um, if somebody's listening to this and they want more information on uh, on overall just the strategic investment program or just to connect and hear what kind of deals and things you're working on in general, um, what's the best way for them to reach out and to learn more? Uh, they can reach out to our website, investwithjsj.com, or they can hit me up on Instagram at investwithjsj. That's Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, just type in JSJ, uh, Sustainable Investment, or Invest with JSJ, and you'll find us. Fantastic. Well, hey, Jesse, it's been great having you on the show today. Um, got, good to catch up and learn more about what you're doing in your strategic investment program and also um, your, as a real estate investor. So thank you for that. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. Uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes store. If you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Money, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments in the video. I mean, I'd love to know what kind of things you're working on and what kind of projects you have going on. So let's take the conversation over to the YouTube community. And Jesse, thanks again for coming on the show.